I absolutely love foggy mornings, by the way, or just fog in general. It's my favorite weather. Overcast skies, a little bit of fog in the air. It's, it's the best. But anyway, uh, hello, my name is Brian, and you are watching the Maniacal Matter channel, and this is my monthly vlog. All right, so this is my third vlog for the year because I started this back in January, and I wanted to do one every month. Um, so this is number three, and it is the last day of March 2017. So, uh, what I'm going to talk about is basically what's been going on throughout the month and uh, what I would like to talk about for next month. Uh, I already showed you guys which classes I'm going to be taking in my last vlog. Uh, and I have, I think, three more days of vacation from school, aka I work tonight, tomorrow, and blah, blah, blah. But it should be uh, good times. <laughs> so I waited till today to do this vlog because I've been having a hard time actually figuring out what to talk about. So I would rate this month a 7 out of 10. Uh, it's been a pretty good month overall. I think I've enjoyed it a lot, and I think that uh, overall, just being able to talk to people and have a lot of fun with that has been really awesome. All right, so let's get into the first topic, school. Uh, finished last quarter, I think I got all A's and B's. I'm pretty sure I got all A's and B's. Not 100% sure. I still need to wait for those grades to post, but uh, I'll check them uh, here in a little bit, and if I get the actual grades, I'll post them right here. Here. So now that I'm done with all my gen ed classes, uh, it's basically just going to be straight up course curriculum and uh, extra classes, which I'm going to try to focus a lot of my extra classes towards things that I find interest in. Um, I know I took a cinematography class last quarter, and this quarter I'm going to be taking a like After Effects class, I forget the exact name of it, but uh, it's going to have a lot of After Effects stuff, which should help me with my uh, editing processes for the whole YouTube thing. But yeah, school, uh, school, I'm actually really looking forward to this next quarter. I think uh, it gives me a chance to get together all my stuff so I can get into the portfolio classes the quarter after, which I am really, really looking forward to. One of the major projects I did last quarter was I actually made a game with some other people. And what I'll be doing here in a, a probably soon video is I'll be showing it off. It's it's called Egg Core. It's a silly little like ball game where you roll a ball and you try to make it to the end point. But I'm proud of it because I led the team and I basically said, you guys have 100% creative freedom, do whatever you want, and everybody ran with it. And I loved it. But what happened for me was because nobody knew how to program, I actually had to spend about uh, 12 hours figuring out how to program it and I programmed the entire game. It's small, it's silly, and stuff like that, but for me it's a big deal because I've never actually programmed any of the games before. And you, you can argue it's not really programming because it's unreal, but it's still impressive to me because I didn't know it, and now I do. So that makes me really happy. It's a, a confidence booster, if you will. Another thing, um, as soon as I got out of school, I was posting a video every day. And I'm actually really proud because I've been able to post a video every day this week, which is phenomenal for me. Uh, I've been posting a video a week, a video a week, and uh, before that, I was posting about two or three videos a week. Um, whenever school got a little bit more difficult, I was not able to post as much. So now that I'm you know, out of school right now, I'm able to post as many videos as I make, and that's awesome. I still have uh, quite a bit of footage backed up that I really need to get to. Um, I did a lot of the GTA updates with Ness, and uh, you can check that out on his channel. Um, but it's probably going to be probably about another week before you start to see those on mine. Um, I have some footage from back in Christmas time that I want to mix with some footage from now. I think it'll be a good mixture. I think it'll mesh well. But anyway, uh, that's that. Uh, Tim Tim and myself were able to play a little bit of the Bigfoot game, which is actually pretty exciting for me because I haven't really played those horror games for the channel yet. And I thought that we did really well. Alright, so something I've been doing every time I've been doing these vlogs is I've been doing a little bit of a backstory or just a random story. It It's just happened before just because I kind of went on a tangent. But I think this time around, I'm actually going to just say something because I want to say it. I want to go into a little bit of my backstory. And I want to talk about why I created this channel. Um, the main reasons I think that I created this channel. And what, what I'm going to start with is the story that actually leads up to why I did this. So it's going to start with my previous channel, um, the BMW 121688 channel, which you can go check out if you want to. There's a few of my old claymations and a few of my older videos and stuff like that on there. When I was in the army, I started watching a lot of uh, other YouTubers play video games, and 
uh, I think it started off with the Yogg's cast because I got really into Minecraft and I started you know, like looking up all these random little videos of people playing it. And f at first it was for tips and advice, but I remember I ran across the Granny Bacon video and I was like, man, these guys are hilarious. So I started watching all their different stuff and I, I really like them and I really got into watching them a lot. And uh, just real quick um, side note, thank you to Hannah from the Yogg's cast. Uh, last quarter I had to write a 15 page paper. So I reached out to a lot of uh, YouTubers thinking, who's inspired me? Who's really made me think of all these different things? She was the only one who really responded and actually helped me out. So huge shout out to her, huge thank you to her. And if you don't know who she is, definitely check her out because she's an awesome person. She's got a lot of really great content. So thank you, Hannah. Uh, back to what I was talking about. All right, so I was watching a lot of these YouTubers, and I was like, okay, well, I really want to get into this. I really want to try doing this myself. So I started playing around with different free softwares, and I started recording and stuff like that, but I couldn't record my voice. Um, I remember I used EasyVid, and I couldn't figure out how to record my voice, so I had a lot of these videos where I was recording... Um, like just random little, like little tiny bits. I think the first video I recorded was me trying to fish just to test it out. So I, I threw out the line and I was like, Psh, I caught a fish, I think. And the second video I did was the pit of death, which I put a chicken on a platform. And I remember I knocked it into the cobwebs that would have, um, <laughs> let it fall down very slowly. And it was more of like a dramatic piece. It was more just for the fun of it and just to see what people would say because I, I kind of wanted my friends and family to say like what the hell are you doing like what did, okay you're playing video games this looks like a very <laughs> retro video game what are you doing because back then Minecraft was pretty new um, but it was fun it was, it was great but yeah it was it was it was kind of hilarious to me at least so I slowly started to get more and more into it time passed I I remember I, I was really getting into it. I was like, okay, I'm going to start playing Minecraft on Twitch. And I got raided by 4chan. And I remember all I had was people telling me to put a shoe on my head and stuff like that. And it was just, I was like, wh why am I doing this? This is live. I don't know how to react to this. I'm trying to have fun here. I'm trying to play a video game and have people, you know, watch me play this. But now I'm getting, I'm getting gagged on. I'm getting trolled, you know? So like, wh why am I doing this? I didn't really have a good taste in my mouth for uh, Twitch after that. So I was like, okay, well, let me focus on just YouTube then. The major turning point for me was actually getting out of the army. Um, I remember there was a, a drill sergeant that got in trouble because she was like a porn star or something like that. And I, I don't remember exactly the full story on that, but I remember that, you know, if she was in the army and then she was portraying herself in a certain manner, it was unprofessional, et cetera, et cetera. So I didn't really want to record my voice or face or anything like that, and I was really nervous about that. Um, if you really know me, I, I follow regulations like nobody's business. It actually really, really annoys my wife because I'm ridiculous with that stuff. So I got out, and I got into school immediately. And one of the things I, I started out with was I wanted to have a big project that would be done by the end of the three years that I've been going to school. Um, I thought that for sure that I would have a good solid grasp on how to make a video game. And the first thing I did whenever I got into school was I, I started developing groups. I, I developed a, a big group of about 15 people. I want to say it was about 15 to 18 people. I developed a full game. I developed the story. I developed everything. Everything was laid out. Everybody knew what they needed to do. I created the game development document, everything. And all it needed to be done was be made. That fell through. Um, so that, that kind of was the first uh, major step in me thinking of alternative ways to get my name out there because I started thinking, well, if I can't make a game, because I, it was a lot of work, don't get me wrong, I, I can do the work on my own, but there's definitely a lot of work that needed to be done, and I didn't really know all the steps then. But now I know all the steps, but I don't have time by the time I get out of school to finish it, so my project's been put on the back burner of everything. It's going to get done eventually. It's one of my, you know, near and dear, close to my heart projects that will get done, but it's probably just going to be me doing it on my own. So after the first group failed, I started to talk to another individual who I saw who was uh, motivated. He was very well-spoken, very well uh, articulated, and he knew 
what to say and how to say it. And he wanted to be the boss. He wanted to be a, a boss. And he said, you know, I, I see that you have a lot of motivation. I see that you have a lot of drive. Let's work together. And I was like, cool, let's, you know, do whatever we need to do. He started coming up with the idea of making a company, which was fantastic. I was like, okay, let's, you know, look into that. I had no clue of what I was looking at or what I was about to get into. But, yeah, so we were we were talking about that. And then he brought in another individual who showed a lot of uh, motivation and, you know, enthusiasm. He had a lot of t uh, skill and stuff like that. And he'd actually been working professionally. It just didn't work out the the new guy basically left <laughs> he he wound up getting a girl pregnant i think and he wound up going through a whole lot of crazy stuff like that that was his life that, that was him he he jumped from the group but the initial guy I started working with started getting leery of you know well if i'm gonna make a company with people and they're just gonna go willy-nilly i need to have a little bit more control so so we started bringing in other people and they weren't quite on our same level but I also noticed that I went from, you know, even keel to kind of lower than the initial guy. So I was like, well, okay, I don't really know how to run a business. I don't really know what I'm doing in that department. So let's, you know, let's play around with this. Let's see what happens. I'm, I'm just curious to see where this is going to go. Uh, the idea of the company was basically going to be us doing animations, uh, let's plays for YouTube, and eventually building games. Uh, we started off with the idea of doing an animation, and that kind of fell through because we didn't really know all the skills yet. Um, we started working on games, and it started off really strong. Something didn't quite work out on that one, but uh, the third thing we were doing was the YouTube videos, and nobody really knew how to record, and nobody really knew how to edit videos, nobody really knew anything like that. But sadly, uh, the company uh, kind of fell through whenever people started dropping out of school and they started switching over to other schools and relationships and stuff like that started to, you know, develop between other people's blah, blah, blah. It was, it was life. You know, they didn't want to go to the school that I'm going to anymore because they, they felt that it wasn't worth it. Um, which is understandable. Sadly, shortly after all these groups failed, I got a phone call from, I think it was my brother who basically said, come home. He said, come home now. Um, our dad's not doing too good. And it was, I believe it was May of 2015. Um, I, I had a lot of uh, stuff going on at that time, but I remember it was right after everything started failing, and I, I just, I felt like everything was kind of a wreck. And I went home, and my dad had stage four pancreatic cancer. And I got to see my dad in his his very weakened state, very, very not my dad. My dad was a big guy. He was huge. He had a very strong personality. He was a big, strong guy, and he was a pillar in my family. He kept everyone together. He kept everyone sane and safe and together. And... I, I just, I saw my dad in that state and I, I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to think, didn't know what to do. And I got to spend a couple of days with my, my family, seeing my dad every now and then, trying to talk to him. I remember I had a, I had green hair at the time because it was, it was awesome. And uh, one of the thir first things my mom said is, do you like it? Do you like his hair? And <laughs> my dad just very bluntly said, uh, no. <laughs> um, he, luckily um, he, he had short bits of consciousness throughout the medications he had stage toward cancer so they were keeping him pretty heavily medicated and um, I remember when it was he was dying I, I got to hold his hand and I I held his hand until um, I remember he went cold and... anywho um, that was that was a very hard time for me. I never really truly dealt with that. Um, like I said, I, I, I left school and I was only home for a week and I was back in school that next Monday. I didn't have time to deal with my own father's death. I didn't have time to be with my family, to help them grieve, to help them figure out what was going on. All the pieces were picked up without me. 
I was um, I, I went from Colorado to Michigan back to Colorado here, and I didn't know where I was going. I was like, well, okay. I remember I had uh, straight A's, like AAA, all the way up until that point. That semester, I got my first B. And I remember I, I felt destroyed because I had like that 4.0 grade point average. And I was like, yes, I'm I'm doing awesome. I'm, I'm on the president's honor roll or something like that. Like some crazy prestigious crap like that. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm so awesome. But after that point, it kind of lost its shine. It kind of lost its like, you know, the idea of me getting straight A's was no longer something that mattered. And I remember the next quarter, I think I got all straight A's again because I was trying to keep up. And then the next quarter after that, I think I think I had like another B. And then the quarter after that, I think I had a couple B's. And um, a couple quarters ago, I think I got my first uh, bad grade, which was a D. And that was in statistics. Um, it, it was it was an easy class. It was really really truly easy it was just I didn't take the time to learn it and I didn't take the time to grasp the different symbols and stuff like that so whenever it came time to do the tests it was like eh okay this works this works but yeah that sucked but another thing that happened from that was I got a lot of motivation to start doing things for myself because I was doing school for the reason of going to school and getting a job but I wasn't doing anything for me so I'd loved working with those guys and trying to make videos. I'd loved making video games. I loved doing all these different things, but school didn't feel like it was for me. Like it felt like I was doing it for the future, but it wasn't for me. So I started to play with the idea of making YouTube videos. With that all said and done, I, I really wanted to continue with the YouTube thing. I really wanted to make animations, make games, and make YouTube videos, but on my own now. I I'd had a large group fail, I'd had a small group fail. Why not do it on my own? I started looking at all the different factors. Um, I needed to get a channel with my own name. Uh, that was the first thing that we failed at, at the, in the small group. And I realized that I needed my own channel. So I started playing with different names. Uh, I really wanted to stick with my nickname uh, from a while back, which was Maniacal, which I think I explained a little bit in a previous video, but I'll, I'll go into a full story on that later on. I started thinking, what what am I? What am I made up of? What makes me? And I couldn't think of like one simple thing like, oh, well, you're a gamer, so why not just do Maniacal Gaming? I was like, oh, that's kind of lame, because I don't want to just be gaming. I don't want to just be this or that. So what encompasses everything? What am I, and what is everything else? And I started thinking about it. I was like, matter. I'm made up of matter. Subjects are a matter. So why not just make this matter? <laughs> so maniacal matter kind of came from a lot of me trying to figure out me. And I think that's the main premise behind the channel is I just really truly wanted to develop something for me. So with the channel made, I started posting all the videos I wanted to start posting. I started playing more games and started recording more games and started working with people like uh, Ness, Kirby, and Pitt. Um, I started working with Timmy and all his friends. And uh, even more recently, we started adding more people to our friends' you know, lists like uh, Godsend, which you could see in the Brawlhalla video. And even now I'm trying to record with a, a guy named uh, Proko or Jonification. Uh, he's... He reached out to me whenever I was on uh, Facebook groups, and he was like, hey, you know, I'd really love to work with you, and, you know, you seem like you have a really good thing going. Let's see what we can do together. And I was like, cool, let's do that. But sadly, I don't think we've been able to actually get a good solid time where we're both either on or his Internet's working properly. Um, but, yeah, he's a pretty cool dude. He's um, He's got a pretty cool channel, so check him out. So, yeah, that, that was me making my channel. And as of today, I'm sitting at... 85 subscribers which is freaking awesome so yeah that was uh that was march and like i said before i waited to the last day to post this video so it's going up a little bit later uh because I, I actually spent a lot of time working on this video but it was hard to really find things to talk about 
So of everything, I hope that you guys enjoyed. But all right, everyone, that is it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I will talk to you all later. Uh, don't forget to rate it. You'd like it, dislike it if you want to. And um, if you want to subscribe, I, I, I'd love that. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. That is my goal right now. Um, but what I would like better is if you're actually going to watch my videos, subscribe. If you're not going to watch them, I mean, that's on you. If you're going to subscribe, you're going to subscribe. If not, then it's kind of cool. But I, I love when people actually watch my stuff and give me feedback. So, yeah. All right. I'll talk to you all later. Have a great one. Bye-bye.